evening and thank you for joining us. A man wanted by ICE disappears after being released from the downtown Denver jail. He's a suspect in a fatal hit and run crash. He was arrested. He was charged and he bonded out. And tonight questions about why ICE was not given timely notice before the suspect left jail. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is asking questions tonight. Lance, you talk to the sheriff. And Sheriff Patrick Furman told me his department dropped the ball. Now, I says it needs about two hours to pick up someone from a county jail wanted for immigration violations in this fatal crash related case on I-70. That didn't happen. It was a horrific crash. A pickup and semi collide on I-70. The truck burst into flames, killing the driver, John Anderson. He didn't deserve to die in a fiery truck accident with this you know, this man who possibly could have pulled him out of the truck and saved his life chose to run like he's choosing to run now. Investigators say this man, Ivan Zamaripa Castaneda, was driving eastbound in the pickup when he struck Anderson's truck, then got out and fled the scene. We're mortified and furious um, about these circumstances. What Sonia Dahlbacher is mortified this... about is that ICE asked to be notified when Zamaripa Castaneda was about to bond out but they weren't notified until after he had done so. We made a mistake. Sheriff Patrick Furman says ICE should have been notified when the suspect first entered the release process, but there was a delay. Was it intentional? I, I hope not. ICE is lazy. And ICE, this is a case in which I, ICE is saying, hey, the dog ate my homework. The policy director at the Hans Meyer Law Firm says ICE should have sent a criminal warrant for Castaneda's arrest, not just a detainer request. But ICE says the code that gives them the authority to issue administrative warrants is the same one that gives federal judges the authority to issue criminal warrants. Now, the sheriff told me that his department has good processes in place, but they want to find out where this breakdown occurred. He says they do about 15 to 17 ICE notifications every month. He said this is the first time they've released someone before notifying ICE. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Thank you, Lance. And we spoke to ICE today about the process of detaining someone. And once a person is taken into custody, they'll do several things, including run that per person's fingerprints and run their name. And that's when they decide whether or not to detain a person. But they say they always ask to be notified if a person is about to be released from a local jail. Uh, I can tell you that I did meet with the sheriff and some other city officials this morning. And I am confident that they are going through their own internal processes to see where the miscommunication happened. I says it is rare that an individual is released before they get there to pick them up.